let's go ahead and draw the head here. Okay, and then you wanna use the transform tool to make sure you don't have like any um, intersecting parts or overlapping parts, okay? All right, so now let's draw the ears. Little pointy ears, let me do that again because I want it to be just a little bit round. Like that. And anything that you need to edit or move with the transform tool, please feel free. And then bring that shape down like that. And if I go too fast, just let me know and then I can um, slow down, okay? Or I can repeat anything. To take something off of the palette, if you, here, let me go to a different palette because I don't want to dilute from that. If you just kind of press down and hold on it, it gives you the option to delete a swatch. So you just kind of want to press down for a second or two and then that menu will pop up. Okay, so the next part that we're going to do here is draw the top part of her head. Okay, and then her face gets a little bit more round like that. And then I've made her just a little bit too big. So what I'm gonna do is use my transform tool to make her smaller. And then I'm just being very careful to move her up so that I stay on that uh, that symmetry line. And so everything still is evened out, okay? All right, so once you guys have that, we are going to draw the shape of the body, which she's just like a little kind of round, pudgy cat. Kind of like Pusheen, but slightly different. Does anybody here have a favorite kawaii character? Mine is uh, Malong right now. It switches, but Malong is my favorite one. What is yours, Lily? Okay. And then we're going to round off the shape here of the little feet. We wanna keep this character as soft as possible. Is anyone having a difficult time with the symmetry tool or is everyone doing okay? Oh, did you create it, Lily? Or is it um, one that has, um, one that's already created? All right, now once you have like the little legs kind of coming in like that, what we want to do is you wanna go a little bit further down and connect right there. Okay, so make sure you turn on the symmetry tool so that pretty much the symmetry tool helps you to only draw half of your drawing and then Procreate draws the other half. And then at the end, you have this very nice, even um, drawing. So to turn on the symmetry tool, you want to go to Actions, Canvas, Drawing Guide, and then Edit Your Drawing Guide. And then if you look at the options at the bottom, you want to tap symmetry that is all the way over to the right and then click options, vertical, assisted drawing. And then you have to uh, click done and then it sets everything, okay? Yes, I would like you to draw in blue because it's kind of how she is designed. Now, if you do want to kind of remix it and change it, yeah. If you just don't like that color, it's okay. I would love to see your versions of her anyway. So now let's continue to draw part of her clothing. And so this is how the symmetry tool is just like really, really great. We can draw this one line here and then it does it on both sides. So this is a part of her little jumpsuit. And then we're going to draw another one here. Okay, well, you can do your own version of her, it's okay. As long as she's just, kawaii is cute. So as long as you keep her like really cute and adorable, it's okay. I would love to see um, your version of it. You don't have to uh, worry about it too much, okay? I promise. All right, uh, let me just edit this shape because it is going over a little bit too far. And then what we're gonna do now uh, in the fashion world is called ribbing. So I actually have some right here on my uh, sweatshirt. It's just like those little lines. So if you ever have a t-shirt, it's normally around the collar 
or if you have on a sweatshirt, it's around the, the wrist area. The brush size is 20%. Okay. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is draw the little arms like this. Just like a little U shape. I believe for next week, we are doing digital postcards. I will double check that, but I believe that is for next week. Okay. All right, so let's finish her up. You're welcome. And we want to draw those little cuffs for the ribbing. Like that. And she's pretty much just like circles and U's and shapes. So as long as you get the overall shape, it does not have to be perfect. I still don't draw her exactly the same each time. So it's okay. All right. And then for the ribbing, it's just like little lines like that. But you want to use quick lines so that you can smooth it out. And to use quick line, when you draw a line, you just press your stylus down into the screen instead of lifting it up and it works perfectly. Okay, and let's go ahead. Uh-oh, let me fix that one. And remember, digital art is very forgiving. If you make a mistake, you can just tap two fingers on the screen or you can hit the undo button and then you are back to where you started and you don't have to start over, which is very important. Okay, so I'm just drawing like a little, like a little dashed line within that section for the, the ribbing. And if you have more or less lines than mine, that's okay. All right, so now what we're gonna do is the zipper, which is just like a tiny little line like that. We're just drawing the lines together. So it looks like a V right in the center. And then if you use the color dropper tool, you can just drop in there really, really easily. Okay. And that is the jumpsuit. Um, we're gonna do the tail at the end because the tail does not involve symmetry. So we're gonna wait after we do um, the rest of our symmetrical details, add the tail and then begin to color in. Okay, but the good thing is we can turn the um, symmetry tool on each layer so that we don't have to um, color everything. All right, if you're ready for the next part, give me um, a thumbs up. If you need more time, just say more time, okay? Uh, the color dropper tool is in the color panel in the upper right hand corner. So if you tap, and I'm just gonna drag this um, to the screen. So. Uh, here, let me just do it for this part since that was the last part. You want to tap on that little color circle in the right hand corner and then drag it to whatever you want to fill in. But um, if you have any holes or gaps in your shape, what will happen is it will color the entire canvas. So if you don't want that, you just want to inspect and make sure that you, um, you don't have any like tiny little holes or gaps in your your uh, shape, okay? Uh, I'm going to sign my name, okay? We're using the same app, so we're using Procreate, okay? That's, for the most part, that will be the app that um, we use for this, okay? All right, so let's move on to the face because mostly everyone said that they were done. So we're gonna start with her bangs, and her bangs are, yeah, it's just like that shape, like that. And then it comes down a little bit more like that. Wait, mine came out a little bit square, so let me fix that. So it's like a J shape, I guess. And then a U shape for the bangs. Very simple. Something goes wrong. I'm like, how? <laughs> I know, I do that too. Sometimes when I'm drawing traditionally, you know how you can zoom in and zoom out on Procreate? Like I'm trying to zoom in. I'm like, wait, you're not drawing digitally. Um, so that's how much I actually draw digitally. Sometimes I forget when I have um, my sketchbook, but that's funny. I, I wish they had the undo button too. All right. So next let's draw the eyes, which are just circles like this. Okay. And you do want to use a uh, quick shape. <laughs> Book nerds say the same. Yeah. It's kind of, it, it's funny once you realize what you, you know, what you're doing. All right. 
So circles for <laughs> the eyes. And then we're gonna do like three little eyelashes. One, two, and three. All right. Now for the, the cheeks, I like to do hearts. If you don't want to draw hearts, you can draw circles, you can do stars. Um, you don't have to do the, the hearts, but I just think they just give it like that little extra kawaii kind of touch. I'm just gonna freehand the, the heart. I'm not gonna use the, um, the color dropper tool or I mean the uh, quick shake tool. Okay, now the last part is her mouth. Now, if you want to change the shape of her mouth, it's okay. Um, it does not have to be exactly like this, but I like to do that big kind of happy mouth. So what we're gonna do here is that shape. Okay, so just as long as you have a big cheesy smile, that should be okay. Yes, yeah, she is a cat. I'm sorry, I did not see that. Yeah, I think she looks like a cat. And so since I named her Deuce, someone assumed that she was a moose, but I'm like, she doesn't look like a moose. She looks like a cat, but we'll see. We'll see how she evolves. She will go through some, mm -hmm, you're welcome. She will go through some edits. We are pretty much done with, oh wait, no, we have one more symmetry thing to do here for the ears. So let's go here and draw a smaller triangle for the ears like that. Now, once we have that, we can go to the actual layer and turn the symmetry tool off because we want to draw her tail and she only has one tail. So to turn off the symmetry tool on that layer, let's go to uh, the layers panel, tap, select that layer to turn it blue. And then if you tap it again, you should have a check mark by drawing assist. If you uncheck it, it turns it off. So you'll only draw on one side, okay? And then for her tail, we're just drawing this shape here. Like a little corn dog shape or an ellipse, I guess. All right, are you guys ready to move on to the next step? Does anybody still need time? Okay, and I'm sorry, I can't see everyone at once. Okay, all right, so let's create a, okay, no problem, see, like, I'm just gonna get everyone set up for the um, next step and explain the next color that we're gonna use, okay? So what you want to do is to create a new layer, and this layer will be beneath the outline. So everything that we do from this point on will be beneath that outline. If you begin to color and you notice that, um, you are kind of coloring over your outline, then your um, fur, fur layer is in the wrong position, okay? And for the fur, we're gonna use that aqua color. And the hex code for that is 02DED2. So you want to have that color ready so that we can um, do this part. Okay, great, perfect. So go ahead and add your new layer and make sure that it is beneath the outline layer. And if you want to go ahead, it's also a good practice to title your layers. Um, I don't always title my layers when I am doing it, but I will go back and do it before I stop a drawing session to make sure that you know everything is kind of organized for next time, okay? All right, so what our layer should look like, if you guys see my layer panel, you have the outline and then you have the layer beneath. And we're going to begin to just retrace certain parts of this so that we can draw the skin. All right, so I'm just going to retrace the outline, the outer part, and we're using the color dropper tool so that we can do this a lot easier. Also, another thing, let's turn on, I'm sorry, let's turn on drawing assist so that we can only have to do this one time. Let's see, there are some questions, okay? And turn on, go to that new layer, and check drawing assist so that you only have to do, we're still using the calligraphy monoline brush. We're gonna use that throughout the entire project. All right, so I didn't do this for the first one, but here we go. And if it gets a little messy onto the jumpsuit, that's okay because the jumpsuit is one layer above um, the, the fur layer and it will cover it up. If you make a new layer, you can press drawing. Yes, 
uh, attach it to that layer. You don't have to go all the way back to Actions Canvas. You can just tap on that layer and then um, check Drawing Assist. Can you guys still hear me okay? I believe it's so that um, people can watch the replay. Okay. All right. And here we go. We have that Drawing Assist on and we can color this pretty quickly and use that color dropper tool. All right, we're gonna do the tail last again because we want to um, do all the symmetrical parts to, um, just because we don't wanna have to constantly switch back and forth between um, the symmetry tool and no symmetry tool. So again, I am just kind of retracing my outline on a lower layer, and then I'm going to use the color dropper tool. And you just want to, the moment you begin to uh, tap it, drag it into the center of your shape and very quickly you can color it. All right, so now that I have the face and things like that, I want to turn off that drawing assist. And I, again, I'm going to just trace around the shape of my tail and drop it in there like that. Okay, so what is happening when you use the color dropper tool? It, if it's coloring the entire thing, that means that you have a tiny gap. I know it may seem like you have done everything. What helps sometimes too is to turn off that background color and then you can just go in there and zoom in and see. Also, you can um, turn off your outline temporarily and then you can inspect. Sometimes what I like to do, and I, you guys don't have to do this part, I'm just gonna show you. What I like to do is just draw and just kind of retrace over my steps and then just fill it in. And then that way I have a little bit of extra, you know, insurance that it is done and closed, okay? All right, so let's add a new layer for the jumpsuit. So I'm gonna title this layer that we just did fur. Okay, and then we want to add a new layer and then we're going to title this layer for jumpsuit. We're almost done because the color dropper tool is, and the uh, symmetry tool is amazing. Okay, and the color that we need for this is that lime green color, which is A6FC67. A6, A6, I'm sorry, A6FC67. All right, it's the lime green color. And let's tap on that layer. Yes, my layers are open. So I have my outline and then the jumpsuit and then the fur at the bottom. Okay, and let's turn on drawing assist for the jumpsuit layer. And we just want to begin to color. Yes, so the color for lime green is A6, the number, the hex code is A6FC67. It should be in the chat. Now, if you find that you are going outside of your lines too much, you may want to lower the size of your brush. Okay. All right, let me open my layers again. So outline, jumpsuit, fur. And if you have one that is in the wrong position, you can just take it and slide it, no problem. All right, so let's go ahead and color. Now this is a layer that will be visible. So we want to be very careful with how we color this one, because we won't be able to mask any coloring mistakes that we've made. All right, and I think I have everything closed. So this is where I close, I'm gonna zoom in here. I closed around the paws and around the bottom of the jumpsuit, around the neck and around the outer part. And then I should be able, oh, so you see that happened to me too. That means I have a gap somewhere. So I'm gonna go back and see where my gap is. And this part can be very frustrating. It's not fun. Okay, so here's my gap. My gap is right here in the center and it's very easy to fix. Okay, and I'm just gonna turn that back on and now it should work, okay? So it's kind of like being an inspector, where is the gap? But if you kind of turn off the other layers so that you can isolate it, it's easier to find. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is the eyes. Okay, so let's create a new layer. There we go, eyes. 
and we need purple for eyes. Yes, all of my digital art classes are um, Wednesdays at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Okay, and don't forget to turn on the drawing assist button. And what we're gonna do here, is just fill it in. That part is so small, you can just kind of fill it in. Okay, and to make her eyes cute and not scary how they are now, just tap on your background so that you can retrieve white or grab white. See, like, what is your question? I don't think I understand. No, this is on, look at my layers. I have outline, I have eyes, jumpsuit, and fur. Now, for the little highlight that we're gonna put on the eyes, you can put it on a different layer, but it's okay because it's so simple that you can put it on the same one, okay? And once you have white, we're just going to draw a bigger circle here at the top and a smaller one there. Very, very simple, okay? All right, two more steps and we will be done. Okay. Now the next layer that we're gonna create, create a new layer, and this will be the layer for the heart and the mouth. I'm just gonna put heart and mouth or smile. However you want to nick nickname your layers, it's up to you. Mine did not listen to what I said, but it's okay. Fuchsia is the next color, so that pink color. And the hex code for that is D0. 2888. It's the only pink color that we have, but if you want to type in the hex code, it is D as in dog, 02888. Okay, and on this new layer, turn on the drawing assist. And let's color inside the hearts. and also color inside the mouth. Now remember, if you are going outside of your lines, you want to lower the size of your brush from 20 to like maybe 15%. All right, she is almost done. You just have to do the yellow for the ears, okay? And of course that will go on its own layer. So let's create a new layer and rename it Ear Detail. Not Ear Detail 6, just Ear Detail. And the last color that we should have is the yellow color. And that color is FCD426. FCD426. So the last part, Show you guys my layers again. We have the outline, we have the ear detail, the heart and mouth, the eyes, the jumpsuit, and then the heart. This part is very simple. It takes just a second. Let's turn on drawing. This. Is 